November 25th, 2013. These are new Sechi images, guys. I'm, I'm going to go over these, but I want to show you the official reports from the Comet I Sun watching uh, gang or whatever they call themselves. It says there's evidence that Iceland's nucleus might not be holding up well, by which I mean falling apart. This is Carl Battens. This is the guy that told us the other day that they were tiptoeing through the tulips, these two comets. They missed the first disconnect. There's been a second. I think they may have woke up and caught this one. I'm not sure. It's, um, but you can pause this and read it. When did they start talking about the ice and the icy snowballs? I, I can't go that far. It says here, these reports are new, and while they are undoubtedly valid, we still need to keep an observing the comet it says it's a um, fresh object from the Oort cloud it, the last time we saw an object like this was never furthermore sun grazing comet just three days from perihelion has never been studied in this kind of detail now uh, michael drehas from caltech is saying that uh, infrared observations have shown a sudden drop in the light emitted by certain kind of molecules the hcn the green the dust and stuff says that uh, while others are reporting that, uh, roughly the same time the comet has apparently blasted out a lot of dust. This is not yet confirmed, but a possible explanation is that the comet disrupted. I'm going to show you those pictures. That's not the only possible explanation. Again, pauses and read it. But um, what's happened is it's been hit by another flare and stripped the tail back. I'll show you that. But again, you have to use discernment we found out this from this uh, Comet Ison, uh whatever they call themselves. Uh, and guys, I just hope that they're just playing us down dumb and they're not dumb because they have the money that we pay for all these instruments that we can barely pick through the information and they're looking at it right now with the highest tech cameras in the world. But they're, they feed the sheeple a little. But they, they've got uh, a couple of us play weak when we're not. I know what you know, Carl Battens. Quit playing us. The Bible says that a watchman that does not warn the people, their blood is on his hands. If he warns them and they heed not, their blood is on their own hand, Carl. The watchman's creed from the Old Testament. Check this out. Second disconnect. Iceland's 24 million miles further away from the camera than Inky. Can you believe that? And they're relatively now they're saying could both be around 5K. We know Inky's 4.8. They're giving Iceland 1 to 5, possibly a 3.5. The max they're saying Iceland is is 3.1 miles. I say it's closer to 20K. What's that? 12.8 miles. Again, different images. They're crossing over. Again, the smaller... I say smaller, coming in the bottom, is crossing. It's not a sun diver. So you've got a cross happening right there. You see that? Amazing images to me. I mean, you're looking at God's world, what he sees, what the entire universe. Now, these are, I went back and just at the time of the camera, notice the 25th right there. These are the JPLs, shows you the location, inky at the top, ISUN at the bottom, and you can go into your 3D software and see that, again, ISUN now today is 24 million miles further away from this yellow square stereo A. So it can, there's no way, just no way that it's that size. That's not important as far as proving that. It's an observation, but it could. Do, what is important is being able to watch it and realize the capabilities, both on the sun and of disintegration of this object. Now, look, look at this. It's just diving in. Strip back again, different angle. Start. It hit. We had started with it regaining it t its tail. Now, look in the last image. There's your first strip back. Here comes your second. There, diving right in there seems to be regaining that tail fast. But guys, what you're seeing on the second flare is why the sun is not producing strong flares. Each time I sun builds up that huge electrical charge, the sun will throw out an M3 or M1 something, and it's stripping it back, keeping that charge down. God's in control. Now, let's look at today's date on the 3D model. Interesting and this thing is getting so close, guys. Look at this. Here we're at just inside the orbit of Mercury, 
probably about halfway to the sun. Now, one AU is all the way back to the Earth. We're looking at a distances here. You see that there's a seven. It will be at seven million miles tomorrow through the 28th. It will jump to 11 million miles per day after that. Then it will slow down as it, that slingshot effect throws it back into space. Now. You saw the video yesterday with McNaught and what a monster it was. Guys, they had never seen that before. It caught them off guard a few months before, and they said it will never come back. That giant just blazed through, they say. I mean, there's no, that's one of the few that they say will never come back. That's amazing. Again, these, this image right here is telltale. The smaller comet, 24 million miles closer to the camera. The larger one, Ison, on the other side, 24 million miles away from this. But they're supposed to be within a half a kilometer of the same size. We'll see, guys. It's heads up. Be safe. Watch for the updates. We're going to watch the SDO through the perihelion. Be safe.